being in a difficult relationship with people who you feel you love, but you find yourself tiptoeing around them, scared to speak up because they get upset easily, whether they are your partner, your family member, or your boss. It can be extremely taxing to manage these relationship in a healthy way. So you want to figure out what can you do to make this relationship work? How can you make these people happy who are very difficult to deal with? And you have been trying for the longest time, but nothing seems to be working. So in this video, this is what I'm going to share, how to navigate difficult relationships and what could it look like for you to work around these relationship in a healthy way, in a protective way for yourself. The main challenge here is the emotional baggage that these relationships comes with. When you are in a relationship with someone who is extremely difficult to deal with, somehow it feels like it's always your fault and you have to fix it or you have to apologize or you have to do something because they never take accountability for their reaction, their action, their behavior. And the reason for that is because they may come with their own baggage, their own trauma, their own damaged ego. So how do you navigate through this kind of relationship when you are dealing with somebody who is bringing so much emotional baggage in the relationship and it is becoming painful for you to stay in that. The easiest answer is to leave, right? That's the easiest way. If somebody is difficult, toxic, you want to leave them. But what if you can't leave? What if they are your family members, your siblings, your parents, what if you have been married with them for years and you have kids with them? How do you, how do you manage that? Because we know the truth be told, it's not always easy to get out of relationship and from that dynamic, especially if you spent years with them, especially when you are so attached to them and you have the love for them. It can be extremely difficult and challenging to do anything about it. And the reality is we cannot teach others to work on themselves. We cannot fix them. Even though we may want to, as an empathic person, you may want to fix people. But reality is it doesn't work like that. We cannot change people. The only control we have is to change ourselves. That's the only thing we can do. We cannot change others, how they see, how they perceive, how they behave. We cannot do much about that. So what would be the right way to manage this relationship in the best way possible? And the number one thing I would say, if you are in a difficult relationship, that you cannot leave. The most important thing here is that you have to have very and very and very strong boundaries, very strong boundaries. And I cannot insist that enough. It is like a foundation of dealing with difficult people. If you do not have boundaries, and you should have boundaries with every human being, but especially with difficult, toxic, narcissistic people, you must have boundaries. Because if you don't, they will have a field day with you. They will pull you, push you, trigger you, and do anything and everything to drain you and drain your energy to make you feel empty and worse about yourself. 
and we can have a completely different video about why they do that. Let's just park that for a second. Let's focus on how to manage this, how to deal with this. Your boundaries needs to be so strong that you do not allow them to get in a way of your emotional space. So learning to say no, learning to focus on your own self, learning to focus on your career, your passion, your purpose, learning to focus, having habits and activities, which is without them and, and saying, look, I am busy. I am doing this. This is a priority for me. Literally, you have to switch gears from them because they want attention and they want to feed off your energy. But you are like, look, thank you, but no thank you. I love you, but I'm going to do what I'm passionate about. I'm going to do what it matters to me. You have to shift. You cannot empathize with them. You cannot give your heart and soul and try to help them all the time because that doesn't work. And you have past experiences with them to know that it doesn't work because it always drains you takes you out of your energy and makes you feel worse because you are not doing what you want to do. You are doing what they want to do. Let's not play that game. Let's just be very clear here. You have to be selfish on your path, your journey. It is so important that you have boundaries. Distract yourself and do something else. Do something which speaks to your soul. It is so, so important because the more attention you're going to give, the more fixation you have that let me fix them, let me do something, let me make them happy. The more you do that, more you try to figure out a way to how can I make this person happy? What more can I do to make this happen? That's a really bad game to play with a difficult, toxic person. Because the only person loses in this game is you. It does not work. And why I say that? Because look at your past. Look at your experience with these kind of people. When you kept giving and giving and giving in hope that they will give back or you will receive something. Did you? No, you didn't, right? So learn from your past. Learn from this feeling of it's not working. So I need to change the way I approach this relationship because insanity is keep doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. So let's not go there because it will drive you insane trying to figure this relationship out. Let's not do that. Let's focus on yourself. Let's focus on the boundaries. Let's focus on your standards. Let's focus on your emotions. The next thing I really need you to pay attention to is regulating your emotions. It is crucial that you do not rely on them to regulate your emotions. Because guess what? They are the one who caused the pain. Even though saying may goes that people who cause you pain, they are the one who's going to heal your pain. But the reality is far from that. The reality is you have to find and cope with the emotional disturbance and triggers and trauma that has been caused by this person who is extremely difficult, you have to find a way to heal that on your own, regulate your emotion by not expecting anything from them, but, but really tuning into your inner self, really tuning in and healing your emotions, healing those triggers, healing and releasing those feelings. Whenever you do go back to speak to them, you are in the right state, right emotions. It's so important. Be sure to do that every single time. Heal those trauma, heal those pain, regulate your emotions, clear those limiting beliefs, clear those trauma, 
it's important for your well-being your well-being is in your hand your health is in your hand even though these people are in your life and unfortunately you can't do much about changing the the dynamics at this moment the only thing you can do is to respect yourself enough to regulate your emotions have strong boundaries and learn to heal self healing is so important and one thing you have to be very aware of fighting and arguing with them is no help so do not even go there fighting with them is like you are opening yourself up you have to learn to detach learn the art of detachment you cannot open yourself up to them you have to keep yourself very close to yourself do not share your feelings your emotions do not share your weaknesses it is so important that you keep yourself very close to you these people even though it's hard it's challenging you cannot trust them to share every emotion with them because it's not easy to live with them so you have to protect yourself you have to have self respect have the boundaries have the standards have the emotional regulation have the healing to be your whole person so when you meet them you are in your empowered resilient state so that you cannot it's like it's like um you know the warriors they have this strong barrier so nothing touches is this metal strong barrier where they will not get hurt so you have to have that you have to be your warrior self and you have to stay strong and build resilience and stay in your power and that's how you meet always come from a higher place in front of them never never show your weakness does not work never show your weakness come from a higher place come from a stronger place come from a healed place and that's how you deal with difficult toxic narcissistic people never let them know that you are weak because they will utilize it so this is what i wanted to cover i hope you found this video useful like this video if you like this video and subscribe to my channel and if you are struggling with emotional pain going through difficulty dealing with these difficult emotions and people and you want help then do apply on my website to be coached by me and to be qualified for a complimentary call with me to see if we are right fit to work together like this video if you like this video and subscribe to my channel and this is the next video you should watch which is about how to vibrate in the highest frequency and how everything becomes magical when you do finally may the light in me reaches the light in you